Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope you're all well. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. I hope you had a good weekend just gone. Um, got a few parcels I've packed because I've caught up to date on all those. Um, let me spin you around. Watching a bit of Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Got the pile of parcels wrapped. It's Ariel's third birthday. Is it your third birthday? Is it your birthday? Is it? Is it your birthday? Your birthday girl. And I've had some massive film props delivered. These are background props from the Carnival of the Dead in Venom 2. They are huge, as you can see. They are big. So I don't know where I'm going to put them, but um. Yeah, that's one I've got to figure out. But, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there for a minute. I've done a Facebook Marketplace pickup this morning. So I'm going to go through that with you lot in a minute. And, um, yeah, see what we've got. Right, so this morning I've done a Marketplace pickup, uh, Facebook. Um, picked up, it was on the photo and thing, it was in a box. Um, but when I picked it up, it was in a couple of bags, no problem. Um, it's, uh, it said DVDs and books, but here's one of the bags. And I got that with it. Now, it doesn't power on. So obviously the battery inside, I would say, and it's got little dents in the... Um, in the wires there, in the in the uh, covers. Not that side, that's all right, but this side's got a couple of little dinks, one there, one there. Um, it doesn't work without being plugged in, but it works fine being plugged in. So it does everything a beach pill should do, plugged in, which is crazy. This was all free. Everything that I'm showing you was from one person and it was free. So yeah, that's the best bit. I should have saved that till last, really. It was totally 100% free. Like I say, it doesn't work. It doesn't power on if it's not plugged in. But once I plug it in, it works fine. I haven't been through any of the DVDs. I've, I've only plugged that in to see, if, see whether it worked or not. So, um, yeah. Everything else I haven't looked at yet. I haven't looked at any of it. So, I've not seen that film. Line side die, gross change. Skyline. I think I might have that. We were soldiers. Don't think I've got that one. I haven't checked the condition because it was a free pickup, so I'll go through them later. I think there's a few of these. So, these should be alright. How I Met Your Mother. That's number seven. And I think there is some other seasons there as well. There we go. Season two. That's a bit sticky. Season three. Season four. They've probably just been somewhere a bit damp, but they look they look alright. The cases look alright now. Season five, so there's season seven. Uh, season one. So yeah, you've got season one, season two, season three, season four, season five. 
season seven. I wonder whether season six is in there. I've got the Christmas, is it? Oh yeah, How I Met Your Mother Christmas. Uh, oh, How I Met Your Mother season nine. Season eight. Season six. So that looks like, yeah, there's seasons one to nine and the Christmas special. Don't know what that is, just in a clear, clear case. So yeah, we've got all them one to nine. Jake Neverland Pirates. Peter Pan returns, just the disc. Let's move them ones out of the way. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Ooh, we've got a Blu ray. 2D and 3D, Conan the Barbarian. Two disc. A couple of fingerprints, but discs aren't scratched. God, some of these are hard to get out. Come on. Not good if you can't get a disc out. Well, that's got quite a few fingerprints in that on it, but I'll just get CD cleaner and clean that one. I'll keep that for myself. Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, it looks like there's a few pirate ones in there. Well, I haven't got that one. Transporter 2. Battle Los Angeles, I'm not sure if I've got that one. District 9. A couple of moody ones. Another moody one. Some more moody ones. Dropchin Laufa. X-Men Origins Wolverine. Happy thank happy thank you more please. Hmm. Live action of the Lion King. Pocahontas. Shades of grey. The Dark Knight. Dreamcatcher. Sherlock Holmes. I feel like there's a disc in there. Yeah, the disc is in there. And it's a proper one. I reckon these are foreign. Yeah, they are. It's got FSK 12. I don't know what that is. And a few of them. Yeah, so I think. Oh, I ain't got that one. Oh, gosh, that's cool. All right, that's all the DVDs. Um, I'm going to clear all this away and then show you the books. All right, so we're back. These are, I think these are mostly school books, but I don't know whether my son will be able to use any of them. I don't know, some German vocabulary book, a booklet. It's got a barcode on it. This come, let's say this all come together. Sudoku book. 
Burn the light, any of it. Oh, some of it's been filled out. I think my stepdaughter likes the bacon. Uh, what this is? Well, it's in foreign language. Probably makes sense because it was a. I thought it was an Indian guy that I picked up. I mean, it's Indian. And a booklet from King's College London. Becoming a teacher. Open university book. Might be worth it. These educational books are usually expensive. Uh, German, so that's probably what those um, DVDs and that are. German books, they're well, German DVDs. Life in the UK study test. Makes sense. Makes sense. Don't know what that is. Probably German as well, I would think. It's got a got a CD in the back. It's got little page things that they just come off. I haven't scanned any of these, I mean, this is the first time I've looked at them. That's what to guide to teaching foreign languages in a secondary school. Never know, might be worth something. If not, I'll take it to the charity shop, saying it cost me nothing. This one's in German. I must have a disc in it as well. Don't know. Yeah, old teaching books. Same, are they? Yeah, I think they're the same book to be honest. Oh no, it's specification Pearson Edit Cell Level 1. Well, that one's the same as that one, but that one's different. It's a bit thick book. Edit Cell. So the Yeah, so they're all educational stuff. So, but it was a free pickup. So, like I say, um, I've got the Beats pill, which doesn't work unplugged, but it works when it's plugged in. I've got the DVDs, most of which now I've realised are probably German. Um, but I might be able to get rid of them as a bundle, as a lot. And there's a few DVDs in there now I haven't got. So, once again, even if I keep the ones that I want for myself, and take everything else to a charity shop. The, all the like foreign DVDs, all the books. If I was to take them to a charity shop, I've still got myself some a few decent DVDs and a Blu-ray for my collection. So you know, it's, it's nothing lost in in picking up something for free. So you know, my advice is if you see something for free and you think it might be all right, it's worth having a look. You can always like take it to a charity shop or or um, take it to the tip, stick it in a bin. Doesn't matter, it's cost you nothing apart from a little bit of time and maybe a bit of fuel or something. I literally went round the corner for these, so it's cost me nothing. So I'll have a look at these, see whether they're worth anything, but if they're not, like I say, I'll, I won't keep them. Anyway, I hope you like this video. It's probably not a long one. Um, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed, remember to hit that notification bell. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Night's Life. Subscribe to it. He's a lovely lad. They're a lovely family. It's a lovely life. And he's a lovely man. Subscribe to him.